Midfielder Paul Brown returns to the engine room alongside Donal O'Grady, who's recovered from a shoulder problem and is fit to start. Graham Mulcahy, number 13, is the other newcomer. Our referee, Brian Gavin from Offaly, gets us underway. Limerick, they'll be playing from left to right in the first half here at Simple Stadium. Dublin won the toss. They'll be defending the town end in the first 35 minutes, but little or no breeze to speak of as one of the biggest games in this year's hurling championship gets off and running. Mike, there's a lot of change on the on the Dublin team just before the, the throw-in. Liam Rush has gone to left half forward. Alan McCrabb just gone to centre forward. And now Alan McCrabb involved in a bit of off the ball here with Wayne McNamara. Well, it's only the sixth time that these two teams have squared up to each other in championship hurling, but uh, already tensions are running high. So much expected of both uh, Dublin and Limerick from this match this afternoon. The prize on offer for the winner is a place in the All-Ireland semi-final at Crow Park. And another chance to play some big-time hurling. Wayne McNamara it was who... Uh, Ran into Alan McCrabb there, back on his feet. McCrabb, who's starting at left half forward, but there have been positional changes all over the place on the Dublin side. Ryan O'Dwyer starting at full forward. Big free to start on its way, and it's over the bar. Superbly taken by Brian Geary, the centre half back. Limerick lead after 90 seconds. The 31 year old rock at the heart of the Limerick defence. He could not have hit that any sweeter. Yeah, great point by, and great start by Brian Geary. He looks very, very fit, Brian Geary. And interestingly, at, at, at the beginning, you saw Seamus Hickey running the ball out of defence as Don Logrady in, in true Don Logrady style. Great hand by Liam Rush, the Dublin midfielder, delivering it early towards the edge of the square. Ryan O'Dwyer just overran it. Breaks, though, into the path of Dotsie O'Callaghan. Hooked and loses possession to Tom Condon. The Limerick corner back from... Naka Derry driving it down the centre. So much pace in this Limerick forward line. Graham Mulcahy and uh, Paul Brown both in there competing for it with uh, Dublin's Morris O'Brien, himself, of course, a former Limerick hurler. And nobody standing back and admiring the scenery in the first couple of minutes here. It's uh, hell for leather. James Ryan trying to slip it through towards Mulcahy. Nice first touch. The Dublin half back line coming in around him. Help arrives from Conor McCormick as well. A little bit of a ruck develops as Joey Boland gets possession into his hands but spills it. Loose pull by Niall Corcoran, recovers. Batted away by Brian Geary. Brian Gavin didn't like the manner of that challenge from Alan McCrabb. A frantic first couple of minutes. Yeah, and Limerick are really up for it, Mike. You can see they're, they're tackling in, in packs and Tom Condon brought out a great ball, dispossessed Dave. Dotsie O'Callaghan and uh, Alan McCrabb has been a little bit upset since the incident earlier on with Wayne McNamara and uh, you know he's a, a wrong pull there on, on Brian Geary possibly lucky to get away without a, a tick or possibly even a yellow card but a, another chance for Brian Geary from a similar distance to, to where he scored the last one So Brian Geary from Mona Lean playing in his 12th championship season he's already hit the target once from this kind of range gentle breeze blowing at his back Seems to have struck it well, the crowd like it. Limerick go two points in front. Geary flawless from the place ball and the perfect start for uh, Limerick. Yeah, that's a great start by Limerick and you know they are up for it. See Paul Brown getting in involved, Graham Mulcahy. You know, they're all, they're all challenging hard and they look very, very fit Limerick to me. Just looking at Wayne McNamara, he looks really very, very fit as does Brian Geary. Dublin have started uh, Paul shoot incidentally at wing back. He's Picking up Niall Moran as Dublin win possession from their own puck out. Good hook by Don Grady and into help comes Wayne McNamara. Limerick have done a lot of work in training on the basics, the hooking, the blocking. And again it works out. Paul Brown moves it clear to Seamus Hickey down the line towards Sean Tobin who switched corners and brought Niall Corcoran with him. Tobin looking for big Kevin Downs. Went up with one hand. It breaks into the path of Downs. Chance of a score here. Shut out by Peter Kelly. And cleared away by Paul Shute. Morris O'Brien, first time ball. 
looking for Paul Ryan, who's just there in front of his man. It breaks back to Ryan O'Dwyer. O'Dwyer is through! And he's buried it. Ryan O'Dwyer back in the Dublin team. He's hit their fourth goal of the championship. And it was the simplest of approaches and a lovely finish. Yeah, you can see the ground is slippy and Tom Condon comes across and slips. But a great finish by Ryan O'Dwyer. And, uh, you know, great reward for, for the decision of Anthony Daly to play him full forward and start him full forward and after the good start Limerick had that's exactly what Dublin needed they haven't been scoring goals in the championship and that's what they want to do today is to score goals and the start of one is a, a great bonus to them well he celebrated his 25th birthday yesterday Ryan O'Dwyer and a good weekend just got a little better Dublin lead after six minutes in this All-Ireland quarter-final now a chance for Limerick to respond. This is Declan Hannan, the teenager. It's their first score from play. He's been flying in recent matches. Sat his leaving certs only last month. But he looks very comfortable in this senior championship arena, the sides level. Yeah, great prospect, Declan Hannan. They're playing him centre forward today. And Paul Brown has been very involved from early on and a good pass into him. You know, Limerick are not wasting any ball. Anything that, that, they, that they catch, they just pass on and pass shortly. And they're using the ball very well. Gary Maguire dropping this puck out down towards Liam Rush. One instead by Morris O'Brien. He spots Rush making a burst inside. Don O'Grady getting back to get the tackle in. Fouling Liam Rush. And the Dublin under-21 captain doing what he does best. Yeah, he comes right across Don O'Grady there. And O'Grady really hasn't much option only to foul him. He, Liam Rush played for the free and, and got it. And Paul Ryan is a very, very reliable free taker for Dublin. He's one of the best free takers in the game. So this is an easy start for him and a, and a nice one for a free taker to get such an easy one starting off. So a first chance to see Paul Ryan in action. Scored a goal and nine points in the Leinster final. That's his first of the day. Dublin go back in front. Paul Ryan won't miss too many of those frees. He's excellent free taker. He just strikes it very cleanly every time. A crowd uh, in and around 35,000 people expected uh, later on in the afternoon. This, of course, the opening game in a double header at Simple Stadium in Thurles. And so far, it's set the tone quite nicely. Gavin O'Mahony spots James Ryan. Pop through to the unmarked Niall Moran. Loose marking from Dublin. Moran onto his left hand side. That's Limerick's first wide, Niall Moran. Understandably disappointed. Yeah, pity because it was a great move. Great ball from Gavin O'Mahony up to James Ryan. Again, using the ball very well. And it was a, an easy chance for Niall Moore. And he should have got that one off his left hand side, just tailing off badly on his own side. Big puck out from Gary Maguire. This time trying his luck down along the right hand side. Good hand by James Ryan. He started well. The Limerick half forward goes direct, looking for Sean Tobin. Niall Corcoran gets there first. Needed uh, his first touch to be good, and it was. Very close to the end line, but tidy play by the cornerback. Clearing his lines. Once more, though, Limerick. First to that breaking ball. Paul Brown lays it off inside. This is Don Grady. Steadies, takes aim, and takes his point. Well, he's been scoring regularly this summer, Don Grady. Not to be confused, of course, with Donal O'Grady, the manager and the midfielder there, has tied the game up after nine minutes. Yeah, huge player for Limerick, Donal O'Grady. And uh, Donal O'Grady, the manager, was very anxious to play him, even though he admitted beforehand that he's only 90% fit. But you can see why he's he moved easily away from Morris O'Brien. I was surprised how easily Morris O'Brien gave up the chase there. This time, it's Morris O'Brien, man who hurled once upon a time with Gary Spillane in Limerick. Now playing his club hurling in Dublin. Tackled very high by Wayne McNamara. And Brian Gavin, understandably, moving in quickly. Yeah, Wants sir. to uh, talk to Wayne McNamara and a card on the way, Nicky. Yeah, certainly a card on the way, because that was very, very high. And uh, no doubt, yellow card for Wayne McNamara. He's, uh, he's, he's never made any effort to play the ball, and Morris O'Brien was going, going straight past him, and another easy chance for Paul Ryan. So Paul Ryan from Ballyboden St. Enders just uh, trying to get himself in the zone. 
He's a really good free taker. That's two from two. The sides trading scores. Nobody getting uh, out of the other side. Dublin sneak back in front. Yeah, but interestingly, I think Limerick are winning more ball than, than Dublin are, and that would be a slight concern if for Anthony Daly just now. Puck out from Nicky Quaid, looking for uh, James Ryan. Ball breaks into Ryan's path and laid off quickly to Declan Hannan. And Hannan, cool as a breeze, pops it over the bar. It's his second point. He's been moving really well, the 17-year-old from Adair. He's a real find. And he took that score with consummate ease. Yeah, I see him coming in there and, you know, he's very, very confident in his own ability. He's a big, big man as well, as, as is Kevin Downs. And these are the two real finds for Limerick this year. You know, they've been scoring freely in the Championship and in the Division 2 league. Sides level now for the third time here at Simple Stadium. Alan McCrabb drifting into that uh, left channel. Loses Brian Geary. Spotted uh, across Ryan O'Dwyer. He's buried it. What a goal from Ryan O'Dwyer. He's had two shots. He'd scored two goals. That was sensational. Great goal by Ryan O'Dwyer. Just a simple shot. I mean, first of all, James Hickey should have cut that one out. But when Ryan O'Dwyer, when the ball came to him, Absolutely no chance for the keeper. Bullet from just outside the 13-metre line. But I think the central of Limerick's defence is, is under pressure. Seamus Hickey and Geary in front of him. Well, everybody wondering all week where the goals would come from for Dublin. They've come from Ryan O'Dwyer. As Sean Tobin at the other end, almost in. Good defending by Niall Corcoran and Paul Shute. And the Schlitter cleared away as far as... Johnny McCaffrey on the far side. Well, those two goals from Ryan O'Dwyer have set this game alight. He started at full forward and he is giving Seamus Hickey plenty to think about. The former Tipperary hurler has hit the net twice in the first 11 minutes. It's advantage Dublin. And that has really got the crowd humming, Nicky. Yeah, great, great start from Dublin. And, you know, they haven't scored goals their last goal was against Offaly and now here they are in the first 12 minutes and they've got two great goals from Rhino De Wire. actually great ball there from Nicky Quaid out to Paul Brown on the far side and uh, bad touch and a, a line ball for Dublin so as much ball as, as Limerick have been winning Dublin are f three points in front and uh, it's poor return from the amount of ball Dublin have had in the first uh, 12 minutes here a play stopped as Alan McCrabb, uh, Dublin's 